let's talk about getting a tattoo. Your first tattoo, to be exact. This is a long process. And I don't mean long as in the actual inking or what have you, but the choosing a design, or getting one made for you, the researching studios and artists, and so on, and so on. It can be a bit daunting. Do I want this? Where do I want it? What about this? How about here? In this process of research, you will probably ask your tattoo cohorts about their experience. Question one, probably being, how much did it hurt? You know it's going to hurt. It's needles in your skin. You'd be foolish to think it won't hurt. And you can lie all you want to about it not hurting to look tough. We all know better, so shut it. You probably bawled like a baby. I had an artist once tell me that he'd do a water outline first, which would just absorb into the skin to see if I could handle the pain. And if I couldn't, then he wouldn't do it seeing as I, back then, wanted it directly down my spine. Still do, by the way. Anyway, born here is your friends, lovely as they are, on average, unintentionally, are going to lie to you. This is no fault of their own, because one, we're all different. Two, location, location, location. Meaning different places probably hurt more or less than others. And three, size and shading does matter. Friend one, aka the under-exaggerator. It's like getting a cat scratch over and over again. This is probably true if the kitty looks like this. I'm not saying it doesn't feel like a cat scratch, but I've been caught a few times by Autumn and Autumn's claws don't hold a candle to this. She may look like a mini tiger, and when those claws catch a toe peeking out from under a blanket, the resulting gash can hurt, but yeah, no. Friend two, or as I like to call them, the simplifier. It's like scratching a sunburn. This is a bit more accurate. If you've been sunbathing, here. That's Mercury, the closest planet to the sun. For those of you who skipped that day in science class. If I sat out and got third degree burns all over my body and then decide to stab myself repeatedly with needles, well, for stars, have me committed. I've obviously lost it, but secondly, yeah. I could see this having the same effect. It's not something I'd enjoy or do by choice. Actually, I'm not sure this is the best example now that I think about it. Moving on. Then we have friend three. The realist. The one person who's going to tell you straight. It hurt like a bitch. That's accurate. Though I've never understood that term, hurt like a bitch. How accurate is this, though? For your consideration, I present to you the thought process of Kat getting her first tattoo. In the style of 24. I don't know, I got bored. Just roll with it. Wow, my doctor's office isn't even this clean. Do they power wash this place every night? Black latex gloves. You know, they look much nicer than transparent ones. Well, ominous. Ominous is... good. That is one hella long needle. Is that a needle? I'm not actually sure. I also don't really want to know the answer. Let's go with maybe. That thing looks like a refill cartridge for a pen. Don't think about it, 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 don't think about it. Well, that wasn't exactly comfortable, but I've had worse. Okay, I can do this. This is actually okay. That's not a little okay. Is that Journey? David Guetta was playing not five minutes ago. How the hell does that work? This is the weirdest music playlist. You can stop going over that one spot anytime now, really, dude. Maybe he's already gotten to the shading. Everyone says that hurts the worst. Uh, just take a little look and... Nope. This is the most interesting ceiling fan in the history of ceiling fans. If this is line work, I'm not sure I want to know what shading's like. Oh my god, that must be holy water because it feels so good. You can just keep doing whatever it is with that... What is that? Vodka? Tears of previous customers? You know, I don't really care. How long 
have I been here? Feels like hours. Days, maybe? Are we done? Nope. No, the buzzing noise just got very loud and very angry. Oh, that's a shady needle. This is not at all comfortable. This is not like scratching a motherfucking sunburn. Is that a vibrating exacto knife? Because it sure as hell feels like it. Staring at the ceiling fan ain't doing shit anymore. Let's stare at the wall. That's a fucking interesting wall. Somehow I'm standing on my head. In a chair. I should probably relax. And not stand on my head. Plastic is very sticky. Even through jeans. This is gross. Metallica seems very appropriate right now. Thank you, weird music thing. Are you digging for oil, sir? I'm gonna look over there and it's going to be nothing but a pile of ground meat. I'm sure of it. There is no way there could be anything left. Just hamburger, where once there was an arm. I'm minus an arm. Oh, that's going to be hard to explain at work. That's going to be hard to work. Dear God, please stop wiping off that one spot. Just let it bleed or ink or whatever it's doing that's obscuring whatever. Is the breath coming from? Inhale and exhale. Imagine the breath coming from the center of your being and inhale and ignore the excruciating pain in your arm. But when it's all said and done, permanent art. Because I like art. And I like art pertaining specifically to me. Now why would I hang something lovely on a wall to appreciate it at first and eventually start overlooking it? Except for the occasional dusting, and eventually forgetting to even do that. When I can have it with me at all times. Above that, why not take all the mental and emotional soul-crushing pains we suffer through as people and manifest it into the physical? and make that physicality something beautiful. It takes art therapy to a whole new level, doesn't it? <laughs>